It's 619. There's something fishy about the way fish medication is being used. Our sick fish need our help, but some people are helping themselves, and that could be pretty dangerous. The E-Team's investigator Jonathan Walsh dives into the problem of humans taking fish antibiotics. It was kind of disturbing, really. Steve Zarzechny owns RMS Aquaculture in Middleburg Heights. Over the years, he's seen customers stock up on fish medicine. So people came in and were buying antibiotics and things, and I'm, I'm sure not all for fish. You might recognize penicillin, amoxicillin, tetracycline. People are posting, my fish had a nasty cough. They are all better now. It worked great for the bladder infection that my fish had. Works perfectly is the exact same as any fish doctor would prescribe. We found bottles for 20 to $40 each. People say that's a lot cheaper than a trip to the doctor. But unless you're one of these, doctors say don't take fish antibiotics. It's just such a colossally bad idea. Dr. Christine Alexander is from Metro Health in Cleveland. So we've been doing a lot of work in this area to try and cut back how many antibiotics we prescribe. And to be sure when we give an antibiotic, it's the one that's the most specific to what the patient has. Dr. Alexander says the base antibiotic might be the same as human doses, but other things inside the fish pills, flakes, or liquids that help fish absorb the medicine could be dangerous for humans. Plus, you might be on a medication that that's going to have a bad outcome because it's interacting with the antibiotic that you pick. I'm five on your side investigator Jonathan Walsh for the E-Team. Well, Dr. Alexander also says there are real concerns about superbugs bacteria that have a resistance to antibiotics. So the more you use antibiotics, uh, the bacteria are smart enough to change and then be stronger than the actual medication. Well, some more health news for you this morning. Vaccines save lives.